Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to discuss the Tactical Overlay, which is a tool that should be used if you do anything combat related, not just PvP. This tool will drastically increase your situational awareness of the battlefield, and if used effectively, could see you applying more turret damage to smaller and faster targets downrange in your combat encounters. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, hit the little bell so you never miss a video, and if you'd like to be part of the discussion, you can leave a comment below or join my Twitch at twitch.tv slash three tiers with a little underscore at the end where I stream solo and small gang PvP and I can show you this stuff in real time. Let's go and get started, guys. The first thing we need to do, of course, is to turn the tactical overlay on. You can do this by clicking this little button here or using the command Control D. Now we have this really nice fighter pilot-esque overlay centered and anchored around your ship. At first it seems really simple, like it's nothing more than a 2D range ring, but it's much, much more than that. Anything on your overview will have a line forming from the ship or object and follows it down onto the range ring itself so you can see the ranges quickly of anything you actually care enough to have on your active overview. If you switch off to a different one, say from the friendlies tab to no friendlies, the line will disappear. It will come back, however, if you hover over the shipper object. We also have a nice little line that will connect you and the selected object so you can quickly gain situational awareness of where the thing that you've clicked is. The next thing is the red dotted line around your ship. This is actually the lock range of your ship. You can verify this by looking at the lock range of the material at 112 kilometers and see that it's sitting at 112 kilometers. The next feature is really nice to see the ranges of your guns or modules quickly and be able to visualize how far they will effectively be able to hit. If you hover over a module, say the Swarp Disruptor here, you get a nice little red ring, which is its optimal range. If you overheat it, the range increases accordingly. If you hover over a module such as the guns, which have an optimal and a fall off, the optimal is the inner red ring, while the fall off is the outer red ring. If you switch ammo, the range of course changes accordingly. For modules like the heavy stasis grappler, whose range changes when you overheat it, the ranges, of course, change accordingly as well. This also works with bomb launchers, showing the range of the bomb will affect and where it will detonate 30 kilometers out. Next, we have a really nice way so you can define directions in space. This golden line here is what I would call space north. And then on each 90 degree mark, we have the line with the ranges. This would be west, east, and south. This also lines up at the bottom of the screen with the ship status indicator, where the little arrow here is north, and we have a 90 degree tick mark on west, east, and south. The ESS gates in Nilsec will always align with north as well, which you might know from my 10 things you didn't know about Eve video. Next we have, in my opinion, the most important part of the tactical overlay, the vector lines. Using these lines to help you visualize the velocities of not only yourself, but of your targets, will allow you to pull off complex maneuvers such as slingshots, and will allow you to improve the tracking of your turrets and maximize applied damage. When we double click in space, we get our first line. This is the ship's desired direction. This line will also appear when you use an orbit command around something, which we can see around my alt here at 30 kilometers, or when you use the Q click function in space, as we can see here. The second line, which we can see, is this solid little blue line that grows bigger the faster we move. This line is your ship's current vector line, where it's headed and how fast it's going. The solid line will always try to match up with the first long line. We can see how it gets larger the faster we go when I turn the micro warp drive on here. For the next line to show up, we need to click on a moving ship or drone. You now have a flashing line on your ship. This is the current vector of the reference ship. It acts the same way as your solid blue line in reference to size and speed. It's actually the opposite if you look at their ship now. The solid blue line on their ship is their vector while the blinking one is your vector.
We also have a little white line coming from their ship, which is the radial velocity in reference to you. If the line is pointing away from you, it means you're getting farther, and if it's pointing towards you, it means they're getting closer. The line changes to a red blinking line if you're being locked by them, have them locked, or in the process of locking them, and they're getting closer to you. This is super handy to visualize multiple ships trying to tackle or ram you. To maximize your turret's tracking, you need to get your solid vector line and their blue blinking vector line to line up. This is of course easier said than done in a fight, and there are way more variables such as signature radius, but if these two lines line up, you'll minimize the angular velocity of the two ships, and it'll at least make you the most likely to hit in the current situation. Any short and simple tracking explanation will always leave out a ton, so for more information on how turrets work, I'll link an EVE University page discussing it all in detail in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. If I missed something or you'd like to know more, please leave a comment or join my Discord or join my stream and ask me in real time. All the links are in the description below. Thanks and fly dangerous, guys.